Can you do mac and cheese on the wax melt burner? Of course, flaming hot Cheetos mac and cheese, that is. We have to start a new Gordon Ramsay chain. He's going to absolutely detest this. I have to hear what he has to say. But hey, let me know and watch to the very end. Did I make this look better than the picture on the box? Okay, let's add a little butter. We're, of course, going to add the packet. We're going to add a little bit of milk. We're going to add a little bit of pepper just because I like pepper in my mac and cheese. But yeah, I need to see a bunch of fire emojis in the comments if you love this if you would go out and buy this by the way where did i get it i know everyone's like where where did you get this i have to have it you do have to have it if you love flaming hot cheetos and i found it at walmart okay which one which one is better mine or the box picture here's her bite this is so much better than basic candied fruit. Are you guys ready? We have Mango Jolly Ranchers, a $1 wax melt burner, and some green grapes from Aldi, plus some coconut oil that we're going to use to help heat up and liquefy the Jolly Ranchers. This was my first time ever doing this in my life. I'm totally winging it, you guys, and I actually put in way too much coconut oil, so I went ahead and used my little dropper, and it just beautifully separated. Look, we have bubbles. It was still a little too oily there. Also, my grapes were wet. You want to definitely dry off your grapes. The Jolly Rancher will apply and roll so much better. But oh my gosh, mango candied grapes is the best thing ever. And I mean the best thing. I made two batches of these for my kids and my family. Even my husband liked these. Peyton Peterson 17, this is for you. You wanted to see french fries on the wax melt burner and hey i made it happen in an amazing way i am so happy with how these turned out salt pepper paprika chili powder onion powder garlic powder i'm treating these like real full-size fries I even loaded one up on a tiny barbie spatula i thought it was going to be so cute but look at this we have these weird foamy bubbles happening with the oil by the way this is vegetable oil and i have two candles in my wax melt burner they turned out crispy brown they were so amazing i went around my household and said little fry anyone who wants a little fry and two of my boy cats they ate some fries too everyone loved them they were so good let's see if i can get this voiceover right okay i've tried like 10 times we're gonna make french toast on the wax melt burner here's what you need salt pepper and cinnamon mix it up really really well you gotta really mix it because the cinnamon likes to float that's olive oil now do the dip and drip with me dip and drip add it to your warm wax melt burner and don't forget the cinnamon sugar as you flip it that makes it so sweet and cinnamony 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 and delicious Sky Beach ate and over 1,600 of you wanted me to use my little wax melt burner to make bacon. I chose turkey bacon and I've been looking forward to making this for you guys all week long. Let's do the little damp finger test. I hear sizzles. That means it's time to put the bacon on. Tell me in the comments how many pieces of bacon I cut up because to be honest, I just filmed this right before I did the edit. Now I'm doing the voiceover and I have things cooking right now. I have a lot of mini cooking coming up for you guys all done on the wax melt burner as well as some cotton candy you guys don't forget to keep flipping your bacon this little candle the little tea light candle it's more powerful than you think so don't underestimate it it can burn everything that you put on the wax melt burner it truly can burn it but i am so happy with the results because i love crunchy crispy bacon Get ready for some serious sizzles on the wax melt burner. Dragana, you wanted to see waffles, so I just grabbed a little Dollar Tree blueberry waffle. I melted the butter. Look at that. Listen to that. Wow. And I grabbed a little lid of the barbecue sauce to make this super tiny mini waffle because I know you guys like mini items on the wax melt burner. And this is just a very small wax melt burner from Dollar Tree. I'm cooking everything with a tea light. So if you're in Texas without power and you are desperate for a warm meal, you could just grab your wax melt burner, grab a tea light and heat something up. This actually does cook all the way. And it will actually burn your fingers, so be careful. But I made a nice savory little bite. It was buttery and warm and syrupy and delicious. So delicious.
Everyone that loves sausage, it's your day. It's your night. It's your moment. I finally got some breakfast sausage. Uh, let me go ahead and extract the olive oil. That's just to keep the surface warm. Now let's add this super tiny little patty because that's what we're doing here with this mini series. We are cooking little tiny things, bite-sized pieces of delicious things, sweet things, savory things, breakfast foods. You guys have been wanting to see pizzas and burgers and mini cakes. Thank you for all of your requests. And also, you guys, thank you for your patience because I'm trying to make everything, and I mean everything, that you guys want to see. But I think it turned out really, really well. I really like my meat well to well done. So I think it turned out really nice. Okay, maybe just a little too well done, but it was greasy, sausagey, and breakfasty. Keeping up with Maisie, you wanted to see if I could make popcorn. Yes, popcorn out of all things. On the wax melt burner this was probably the most challenging request yet okay so I put in some oil that I previously warmed up on an electric warmer I lit two candles and we do have sizzles we have tiny bubbles no way I missed it I, I seriously missed it that was my original audio you guys just heard I seriously missed it. I was taking some stuff out of my closet. I was looking for a macro lens. I thought we could maybe do some cool things with the macro lens, and I missed it. But this is the next candidate. It had a split in it, but it never turned into popcorn. All my banana lovers, this one's for you. Grab your clear Jolly Ranchers and your wax melt burner. Let the candy start to melt. And then you're going to need to grab just a little bit of coconut oil. Mix it up. Let it start to bubble. And then you'll see the coconut oil separate on the side. Go ahead and extract it and just get all the oil out. And then mix it once again. Now it's time to grab your banana slices and dip them in the candy. Wow, what do you guys think? Is this something that you want to try? I mean, to me, it was kind of like a warm tropical banana bread. Like imagine a nice banana bread that has just a little extra something, like a little extra sweetness and a little extra flavor. I think it's definitely worth a try. Let me know in the comments how you like this candied recipe. Hey, I'm back with another addition to my little wax melt burner series. Today we are melting grandma candies in a $1 wax melt burner, getting some clean grapes, some dry grapes. And if you notice in the beginning of the TikTok, I was extracting a clear oil. That was just some leftover coconut oil from my previous TikTok. Definitely watch that if you missed it because I use Jolly Ranchers. But these are just $1 candies from Dollar Tree. This is the strawberry. It melted easily. It applied easily. The drizzle method worked. The rolling method worked. Now, these don't taste as strong and as flavorful as Jolly Ranchers, but I know the grandma candy is definitely a favorite for everyone, and it made for the most pretty little dessert. Thank you.